Hi everyone, I am Donna Reed and this is Donna Reed Talks Voice. And once again, I'm inviting my dear, dear friend and longtime student, Peter Marinero, to uh, help me with a little bit of a coaching thing going on here. Um, hi, Peter. Hi, Donna, so glad to be here again. Glad to have you again. Peter is an amazing, amazing singer, actor, dancer, director, coach, all of the above fantastic artistic person and you will see how brilliant he is as we get working and we have invited Kristen hi Kristen hi do you want to introduce yourself and just tell uh, our listeners a little bit about yourself sure my name is Kristen Brooks Sandler and I'm a New York based dancer singer actress um, I also do a lot of choreography uh, and that is how I am here today. I am here through Peter, and uh, we met when he was directing a production that I had the opportunity to choreograph. So I'm excited to be here as a performer. Wonderful. Thank you so much for coming. My pleasure. Yeah, and this is the first time, this is the first time that Kristen and I are working in this kind of capacity. So this is different and fun for us as well. So we're, I'm excited for this. Oh, cool. Wonderful. See, the one thing that's really wonderful about the whole performing arts community is that these kinds of things happen. You know, you are co-directing, choreographing, whatever, and then somebody's directing you or then somebody's coaching you or you are coaching them or, you know, it's it's one of the things that happens and uh, that we just we do on a regular basis, you know, change roles, put different hats on which is wonderful. I love the idea that we can be that flexible because in my teaching, I am all about flexibility. So uh, what is it that you're going to sing for us? I'm going to sing a song called Why Can't I, uh, which is from a musical that used to be called Saving Amy and then went to Brian called Scandalous and it ran, ran for nearly no time. <laughs> All right, so let's give it a shot. Just go ahead with it and then uh, we'll take it from there. This is such a changing world, an ever rearranging world. I must make it mine by my own design. Made for dancing under a moonlit starry sky. If other girls go dancing, then someone tell me why can't I? Nice. All right. <laughs> That was, first of all, I just have to say again, this being our first time working like this, I was having maybe for the first two bars, just that moment of, oh, wow, there's a big <laughs> little person that I know, first of all. Um, but uh, I always like to know why people chose the song. We, we have the opportunity to choose our material. I always just like knowing why people choose the songs um, that they do. So why for you, why this song for you? Um. Well, one reason is that short girls like me, we always got to have that like, I'm adorable and I want something song, but I'm not just cute song in our book. So that's one of the reasons is like, I'm approachable. I can be an ingenue, but I'm not like a, I'm not just funny. Um, but also I actually saw this show when I was like 12 in workshops at Signature Theater and I was fully obsessed with it. Um, and then like, you know, 10 years later, I made it to Broadway and it was a totally different show by that point. But I, when it got there, I was like, oh, I have to find the sheet music to this. I used to like jump around my room when I was 11 and like, you know, sing this song or whatever. Absolutely. You know, we can always look back at like those first experiences that kind of imprinted on us, especially in the theater. And it seems like this is definitely one of those experiences that has done so. Can you articulate, if you're comfortable, um, yeah. when you were younger, what was it about, what was it, because this is about Amy Semple, right? It's based on Amy Semple. Yeah. Right? So what, do you, can you remember like one thing about your experience when you were younger that 
you kind of you just attach to yeah um so when i first saw it my my uncle was in it and so i got to actually sit and watch tech so that was kind of the first time i had seen like a professional technical experience and like things go wrong and like you know there was like i remember there were like barn doors that they were all like stuck in they couldn't hear the music so it would open and they would just they were just blindly singing as they were walking forward and like laughing because you know sometimes that happens during tech um but now as a professional i like i think that was kind of the magic moment for me especially you know being a choreographer it's like that i love that stuff i love fixing the problems um so that's why it was really cool and then this woman i mean carolee carmelo hello um like transforms right from like a 16 year old in the show all the way up into like you know her older age in the original okay. version. so it was cool theater magic yeah, 100%. Okay, so something I want to, there's two things I want to focus on as we try to work on this cut a little bit. One is I want you to pay more attention to the complete thoughts as they are written in the music. Now I know that sometimes there are rests and obviously we need to breathe when we're going to breathe. You don't have to breathe only at the periods, you breathe when you need to. But as an, the actor, connecting the full thought yeah and so that's one thing i want I really think about these words that you're um saying here the second thing is do you have a ch uh, no i don't want you to sit not for a song like this um uh, but i i won't when we do this again i'm gonna have you do absolutely nothing with your arms down at your side and to start from a simple place of just speaking to a person that needs to hear this from you yeah, you know, as a choreographer, yeah. as an artist now, um, I'm sure, I, mean, I know I've had these conversations with you. We, you know, especially this past year, we've had a lot of those um, talks about how do we continue doing this? What's the future hold for us? Do we switch? Do we pivot in a different way, right? We've had these conversations because I, I believe one of your lyrics are in an ever-changing world. Mm -hmm. How more in the moment can you be right there? And I don't think... <laughs> have to search and I, and all that stuff you were saying about how you get typecasted at times as the you know the younger girl you have to be cute and funny I want you to just throw that all away and I want this to be more about Kristen whatever that means for you versus what any casting director or director is expecting of you does that okay. make sense yeah. So yeah, and I just need you to pick a person and we're going to work from a simplified way when we do this again. Oh. So I'll, I'll peg it over to Donna. So my first question is, um, how does it feel vocally? Because it sounds very, very easy for you. It feels pretty comfortable. Yeah, I, I yeah, it feels pretty comfortable. This is well, kind of one of my like, go to like, you know, I can sing it at 9am and that, that's what I sense. It's very easy. There's no trepidation. There's no, oh, here comes the high note, those kinds of things. But what I would like to hear is a little bit more nuance in terms of the singing. So okay. in other words, um, it's, it's you know, a little bit more of a vocal journey in that you really want to save the biggest best for last. Got it. You know, so uh, it, Oh, but only if that goes along with your acting choices. Mm. So I, that's what I would just like to hear a little bit more of that. But again, if that goes contrary to what you're feeling you need to express, then we'll scrap that. But that's just my idea uh, initially. Okay, great. So do you want to try it again? And then we'll take it from there. Sure. Sounds good. This is such a changing world, an ever rearranging world. I must make it mine by my own design. Life was made for dancing under a moonlit starry sky. If other girls go dancing, then someone tell me why. Can't I? 
Yeah, see, for me, just vocally speaking, I, I just liked the journey of that a little bit better. Now, yeah. I'm going to um, say something to our audience. When Kristen first started doing this, we had a little bit of a technical glitch and she had to start it like three or four times when she first did the first take. So that may be the reason why it was a little like, oh, oh, okay. Mm. And then this time, you know, you had a little bit more time to get into it without the technical glitches. So that may have been it, you know, just being a little bit more grounded. But that aside, Peter, I'm putting it over to you now. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I was, I had that moment right in your first few, your first line there where I just went, oh, okay. I had that moment where I saw you click into someone who you were talking to and it became a conversation. So I want to actually continue on, on that. I'm going to have you do this again. And I'm going to actually have you look right, sing this right to me. Oh. <laughs> I know, I know. We put a person in front of us and then woo, right? <laughs> um, and I know that obviously, whether this was a filmed audition, typically they won't, they prefer obviously you not to look directly, you know, into the camera. Um, but you can just focus on your, at me on your, because I want you to, to really connect, to communicate with this song. It is a big song. It has a lot of big notes in it. It really shows off your voice and that's great. But I think what'll, what'll make it successful is you telling the story. So a couple things along with the story here. I feel like there's a sense that this character is fighting a lot of expectations that is put on her, that is put on people generally in society. And like, she's fighting norms, right? She, she I, 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 I Wikipedia this, but <laughs> I, I found that she was the first woman to obtain a radio broadcast license in the United States ever. She's a badass. Right? Yeah, she's a badass. So she was trailblazing in ways that we, we can't even imagine. Whether we agree with her religious practices or not, that's besides the point. She, she did a lot of amazing work, right? And Interestingly enough, she talks about wanting to, in a never changing world, uh, I must make it mine by my own design, but then goes over to say, life was made for dancing under a moonlit sky. If other girls can go dancing, why can't I, right? So I, f I feel like there's this sense of, yes, yeah, she's fighting the norms, but that doesn't make her any less of a woman. We can do whatever we write. So she, I feel like this is like, she, 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 and this, and this is what early night, early 19th, 20th century. This was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And to say these words, even now is a big thing. Yeah. So I want to ask you, cause obviously you're a woman, I'm not, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you, <laughs> but if you're comfortable with it, I think there's something to tap into there. Yeah. Yeah fighting the expectations and honestly hearing what you your experience about right off the bat when I asked you why did you pick this there was a lot of talk of well in casting I'm usually put in this bubble as the young cute friend that can be funny and I want to do right there was a but I think there's a lot more in here that you connect to because I know you quite well and I've had conversations with you there's a lot in here that I know is a part of you and so that's something I want you to focus on. So I want to try it again. And then before we do that, Donna, can I, can we possibly do your wonderful breathing exercise before we start? It's one of my favorite things that I, okay. I have done before auditions and the like. It's wonderful. Yeah, totally, totally. So what you're going to do is you're going to exhale all of your air. You're going to inhale as you bring your arms up. And then you're going to exhale. Do that about two or three times. I'll, and while you're doing that, I'll, I'll tell you things. So go ahead, exhale. Inhale to bring your arms up. Keep your mouth open as you inhale. And exhale. Take your time with it. Notice and do it again. Notice what it feels like when you take the air in, the rib cage expanding. Keep your mouth open as you breathe in because you'll also notice that as you're breathing in, as you're breathing out, 
there's kind of a throat opening effect that happens. You know, the air kind of opens up the throat and the rib cage expands and you exhale and do it one more time. Really feel the mobility of that rib cage. Mouth is open. You feel the air going in. There, now with that last one, I actually heard with the exhale that there's something that kind of let go a little bit. Mm. Now, how do you feel after having done that? Good. It's nice. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonder yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I, I always start every lesson uh, having my students do that. And I always tell them just before an audition, uh, do that. You know, what, what happens is when we audition or when we're making a video or when we're doing anything important, we get a little nervous, of course, right? And we stop breathing. So that kind of gets us breathing. And when we stop breathing, the rib cage gets rigid. And when the rib cage gets rigid, then it uh, affects us when we're singing with that little bit of rigidity just doesn't quite keep us as mobile as we need. And that uh, gives you a little bit more mobility. Yeah. Cool. Great. <clears throat> This is such a change in the world, an ever rearranging world. I must make it mine by my own design. Life was made for dancing under a moonlit starry sky. If other girls go dancing, then someone tell me why. Can't I? Wow. So, how did how did that feel for you? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Feel it. You know. Did yeah, you notice the difference with the breathing? Yeah, I felt like much more like dropped in at the beginning also because i'm getting less nervous because this is nerve-wracking but you know, help you're nervous you're nervous during auditions too so it's it's nice to kind of drop that breath in and be able to take the first big breath exactly actually. yeah absolutely what I, would, what I would love my listeners to really watch and pay attention to is uh how much more mobile everything was in this upper area when you took the breaths, how much, you know, you could see that you were actually breathing, that things were moving more than they were before. And don't get me wrong, it sounded amazing before. It, it, there was no, nothing vocally I could even really say, you know, fix this or fix that. That was really fine. But this one is just more present. It's there because there's this, you know, easefulness. There's still the excitedness, but there's this easefulness because everything's moving. Everything's you know, organically doing what it needs to do. Good. 100%. Now, I'm, I really like that. Um, and it's so funny because when you finished, immediately you started moving. And when we're talking to you, you have this, you're a dancer, of course. Um, and I, I, that's just, it's just amazing to see, again, knowing you and having worked with you in different capacity work like this. And at the beginning of this coaching, you started by saying, I'm a dancer first, which is fine. But I think you are an artist who ha can do all of these things. And I don't think as a singer or an actor is any less than your dancing. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, and especially if you're gonna bring this song in, I think you know that you can do that stuff, but I just, that's just to say it. Um, it's awesome. I am going to make, oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, it's, it's good to remind ourselves because we always have to audition with something first. And so it always, you always have to put yourself in the box when you walk in the room because you're like, am I going to go to the ECC, the EPA, the dance call, or try to go to all three, you know, and which, which comes first. So it's, it's a good reminder to all the people who dance out there, but also sing when I dance. Yes. Yeah. And I've also have found that dancers are some of the best actors because they're so connected to their body. They have an easier time bringing material into their whole body 
and expressing mm. it. That's just been in my experience. So something to think about. Um, this is kind of pushing over to more of like a directing thing with this song. When you sing by my own design and then flip up to a higher note, I don't think you need to do that. Okay. I think it takes away from your last big note because you do a jump there as well, which I feel like you feel it and you know it belongs there and it works. Singing, doing the jump for my own design is fine. It, it, you, sound, you sound great. It's not wrong. But I think it takes away from the momentum of getting to the end. Okay. Because this goes right into the change where you start talking about life was made for dancing. I feel it's at the beginning here, you're kind of laying down your declaration that I'm going to do this all on my terms. And then when we go into life was made for dancing, I think it's your celebration because you know that it's, you're going to get there. Okay. And this is how I want to, and this is just me directing you now. And you can, at the end, you can say, I, I, I'm not going to do this and that's fine. But I feel like we're at that point where I can try something different with you here. Yeah? yeah. So that transition is you seeing it happen, it happen for yourself. Yeah. And that last, why can't I, that I is the complete release and surrender. Right. right? Like we do anything, we work hard, we do, we have, we say, okay, we're going to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, to get to that point. We're going to do all the work necessary, but at some point you got to let go. And that, and again, as a dancer, you're going to interpret it as you will, but I also want to see that change when we go into that transition, that release, that letting go. Mm -hmm. And enjoying the fact that you are able to articulate this. Mm. Yeah, Peter, I'm so glad you brought that up because you put your finger right on it. it. Initially, I had said, you know, I'd like a little bit more variety. There's a, just a little bit more of something that, you know, I couldn't really express it that well, but that was exactly what was bothering me the first time. It, it climaxes twice. Oh, you know, it, it's too soon. You know, it's like, eh, there's this big note and then there's this other big note, which almost takes away from the second big note. So uh, thank you so much for that, because that's exactly what it was that was slightly, slightly bothering me. Again, you sang it beautifully, but um, let's try it again with that thought in mind. We'll just compare the two. And as Peter said, it's your choice. It's your piece that you're doing. But uh, I think that's a really good suggestion. No, that's yeah. right. I mean, neither of those options are actually written in. I just do it because I can. So, yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> okay. This is such a changing world, an ever rearranging world. I must make it mine by my design. Life was made for dancing under a moonlit starry sky. If other girls go dancing, then someone tell me why can't I? Yeah. How did, how did that feel for you? Good. I mean, yeah. I had to think a little bit because I'm, you know, because it's in that muscle memory. So there was True. definitely a, a hiccup moment of like, stay, stay, stay. Okay, we're back in it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that felt just as authentic, I feel like. It Absolutely. Yeah. Um, there is one, another, now another little tweak I want to add to this at the beginning. See, now you're... <laughs> What I really love about this is you're you're kind of you're just going with the punches here. And as we all know, like in a room, in an audition room, that is the reality. And that hiccup that you mentioned, I I didn't notice any funny moment at all. So good on you. very good on you. Um, <laughs> at the beginning, this is such a changing world. Um 
can we can we approach this again see the person that you're communicating this with and now we ha- I want to add a layer of I need to communicate it with this person because I for whatever reason in Amy Semple's situation I feel like maybe she's leaving them she's leaving everything that they have been used to growing up together whoever this person may be and you can decide that for yourself but this is your aha moment of, oh, I have to do this. Things are about to, right? This kind of like she's, this thought has has really just come to mind that she's clear on. Yeah, that I I feel like there's, because this this song has like such an urgency to it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, naturally with your first approach, I could see you feel that urgency, but now, let it happen in the moment. Does that make sense? That aha moment, yeah. right? Yeah. Unraveling it as it's happening, more like, yes? Yeah. And then by the, yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. And then by my own design, you're off to the races. Okay. Sense? Now I'm just kind of playing with the dine In this short cut of 16 bars, there's so much that we can play with. I mean, when you first sent this to me, I was like, oh, wow, this is a short cut. This is really like, this crazy world that we live in, that we go into a room and sing this little music. And <laughs> it's pretty wild how every little beat moment changes everything. Mm. So, and again, we I want to just try this. You know, Let's not do it with music. Maybe we can, uh, with your accompaniment, maybe we could just do acapella for a moment. At, just the beginning. Sure. To play with it. <clears throat> you got your pitch? you. <laughs> I was like, isn't that piano? <laughs> so good to me, Donna. Thank you. <laughs> um, this is such a changing world, an ever rearranging world. I must make it mine by my own design. Life was made for dancing under a moonlit starry sky. If other girls go dancing. Good, 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 good. I want to do it again, just up to my design. Again, no compliment. Way. But... You know those moments that you have an aha moment? I've seen you have have these moments before. (laughs) Almost a bit paralyzing. Yes. Where you're seeing it and it's all happening, but it's it's that processing moment. I want you to start from there. Don't feel like you have to do anything at all, except have the. Does that make sense? Yes. Theoretically, let's see if I can do it. This is such a changing world, an ever rearranging world. I must make it mine by my own design. Yeah. Then there was something interesting from watching that. I felt you that almost like your body was going to try and do things, but that you were negotiating the whole time. And that's interesting to me because Mm -hmm. as humans, we do this all the time when we're in conversation with people, right? It's, can can I say it to this person? I want to say it, right? We constantly do that subconsciously. And Mm -hmm. that's what you were just now and it it, it, it was it's very suspenseful as simple as it was it was very active so that's just something to think about as you as you work the beginning of this Hmm. does that make sense absolutely how did it feel for you to kind of just i mean very authentic it's a very authentic beat to just be like the world is changing and i don't know what to do because you know Happens like, you know, every three days for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, you know, that feels very truthful, um, especially, you know, in, in this moment in life. Um, 
yeah, and it feels way less music theater-y, which I love, um, because I don't, you know, it's never authentic for me to walk into a room and be like, I'm going to give you music theater. Um, so that's very nice, like, grounding to just sit there and, like, shock, awe, <gasps> let it right. rock. <laughs> and just trusting, like, oh, this is enough in this moment. This is yeah. very Right. And I also think that it complements the line, the vocal, how vocally it starts to open up and then you start to let go more. It kind of naturally, you know, I always like to say, eh, be careful not to fall to what the music is doing sometimes because a lot of people, and that happened more so with like ballads that people get very almost too relaxed. And, and then it's, it's a effect of problems in that area, I think. But, um, your vocal line is growing at that time. So it's, that, all of that is working hand in hand, which I think is really lovely. And what I like a lot, vocally speaking, is that you are much more um, taking your voice for granted. I mean, granted, you did that in the beginning, totally, this is easy, easy for you. But that one little extra note is like, well, here's my wonderful voice, people. And now it's more about this is what I'm saying. So your mm -hmm. voice is in service of what your acting is, as opposed to your voice taking over and listen to my wonderful voice and I'm impressing you. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not again, I'm exaggerating. Not that that was at all what you did in the beginning, but this you know, gives it that little bit more groundedness in, in that it's more truthful to me. Yeah, it feels better. Yeah, absolutely. Good, good. Yeah, it's it's great. And I think, uh, again, what Donna said, from the very first few bars, us behind the table will know, oh, she, she's got a voice. I hear the voice. And we all, and you, you've been behind the table. You know that as soon as it starts, you can tell like, oh, th this person can sing. But can they now tell us the story, right? And then, you know, again, we're off to the races. Um, <laughs> And we get that from the very beginning of what you're doing. So I love it. I think that was wonderful. And thank you so, so much for doing this with us. My pleasure. Yeah, this was great and super helpful, honestly. Great, so wonderful. I hope it was helpful for all those people out there watching. And thank you again, Peter. You are amazing. I don't even have enough words. Oh, thank you, Donna. Thanks for watching Donna Reed Talks Voice. If you have any questions for me about this episode, or if you'd like to join me on a future episode, please visit DonnaReedTV.com and click Contact.